Solve the equation. 1 half x minus 5 thirds equals negative 1 half x plus 19 fourths. I'm going to solve this by graphing. So I'm going to make the left side of the equation one function, the right side another function. We'll graph and then find the point of intersection. So f of x is going to be the left side of the equation, which is 1 half x minus 5 thirds. And then g of x is going to be equal to the right side of the equation, which is negative 1 half x plus 19 fourths. Okay, now let's graph on the calculator. So I'm going to hit y equals. I have a couple of equations from before, so I'm going to clear those out. The y1 is 1 half, and I know 1 half is 0 0.5, so I'm just going to put 0 0.5x. And if you wanted to put 1 half x, you could definitely do that. Minus 5 thirds. So 5 divided by 3, down arrow to y2, negative 1 half x, or negative 0 0.5, then times x plus 19 fourths. Okay, just a note on changing from fractions to decimals. If it's a non-repeating decimal, you can do this. But let's say I had 1 third x, I couldn't put 0.3x, that's not the same. 0.3 would be a rounded version of one-third. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph. And let's see, the f of x has a positive slope, the one-half x, so that's the blue line. And then g of x has a negative one-half slope, so that's the red line. Now we want the point of intersection, so I'm going to hit second and then F4 or calc. Then we want 5 for intersect. Then just hit enter for first curve, enter for second curve, enter to guess. You can see the point of intersection right there. And let me go ahead and make the calculator bigger. Okay, so it looks like 6.4166666 and then 7. Now, what this means is it's just the 6 repeating. So x equals 6.41, and then a 6 repeating. Now you need to decide what type of answer do you want. Okay, so if I need a rounded decimal answer, I could just put x equals 6.4 or 6.42. I'll round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, I'm switching calculators to get a screen that's easier to read. So let's convert that decimal to a fraction. Let's put 6.416 and then keep the sixes going for a while because you know the six is repeating. That should be good enough. If I just put 6.416, it wouldn't give me a good fraction here, so I keep the sixes going. Then math one for fraction, enter. 77 twelfths. And just to verify that, 77 divided by 12. Okay, that's exactly what we're looking for. So if we need a fraction answer, we could have 77 twelfths. So it really depends on the type of answer you need. If you need an uh, exact fraction answer, you can do that. Or if you need a rounded decimal, you can do that also. I'll circle both answers here.